Hello uh, and welcome back to this, uh, I think part four of the modelling a Mustang on Fusion 360. Let's get right in straight away. Uh, here I'm using a tool called the flatten tool. Um, and what that does is basically I can select a group of points and then by selecting a plane or just another point, they will all line up with that. So in this case, I'm going to select, uh, I think it's the right plane or possibly a front one but you see how they've all lined up with that the reason why I do that is because I set the width of the car so how far I've extruded is half the car's width so when I mirror it on that central plane it will be the exact width of the car um, like so so um, yeah that's how kind of you do that uh, apologies if that was a bit quick um, uh, so the mirror tool I use uh, at the top is symmetry and then you want to use mirror duplicate and then select the plane you want to mirror off um, and now because I merged the entities which is one of the little boxes you could tick on that symmetry tool um, it's now a solid body you can check this um, easily uh, by going into the inspect tool at the top and then selecting cross-sectional analysis and then selecting a plane that intersects it and if if uh, if when you use the cross-sectional analysis there is uh, dashes that tells you it's a solid body and if it's just like a cavity that tells you it's it's not a solid body so what I'm doing at the moment is um, I'm adding a new canvas um, from the front uh, so I can begin to work from another angle um, and what I mistakenly did was in Fusion you you activate kind of uh, what you're working on you should always do that so say say you're working on a wheel you want to have that as a named component and then say activate that and then all all the things you do will be in the drop down menu associated with the wheel rather than the full assembly and so what I think I end up doing is I just do another one which is then in the in the active kind of new car body um, but yeah so w when you're working always kind of activate the component you're working on don't do everything as one giant assembly uh, it makes your life difficult um, so yeah that's that's just about the gist of it um, so yeah now that I'm in that active component, I'm going to insert the canvas again. So select the canvas, set the same plane. And now, because I've activated it, if you look on the left hand side, when I click OK, it appears in the bodies component there. Um, so that's that done. Um, this is just showing you the dimensions that I've used. Um, obviously I've already got these written down but just just for showing I've done that uh, um, here I am just checking that I've set the plane the, the earlier plane to the right width so that the car width is correct um, and what I need to do is actually finish the form um, or just exit out of this to uh, so that I can edit it and have a look at that plane there we go, edit feature, you can see the calculations on the right, so that shows the full car width divided by two, so that's the distance, uh, half the distance, and that, that's how far the side of the car is offset, so each side is half the distance, therefore you have the full width. Um, so yeah, that's that's how that's done. Um, so re-enter that. Now kind of my next step is I need to calibrate this image. Um, and so I do that by clicking calibrate, clicking on two points. So that, that's approximately the full width of the car. Um, and then just type in the value that we found out online. I mean, I use wiki, definitely don't use wiki. I, I like kind of fact check these things, but just for the video I used wiki and yeah, I mean, people can put on whatever they want. Um, but there you go, so that's now calibrated. 
What I don't like about this image is it's not perfectly square. If you like look on the right, you can see it's got more of a curve around the front of the car rather than the left, and that tells you the, the photographer is obviously a little to the left. Um, so I kind of adjust it as best I can. Um, the good thing about this though is I could choose to model it all on the left hand side or all on the right hand side, and because the the new the new part we've mirrored across that mirror kind of thing is active. So whatever we do to the left hand side of the car, it will occur on the right and vice versa. Um, you can clear that uh, if you go into symmetry, there's a button called clear symmetry. If you don't want to do a symmetrical um, car, like trying to think of one, like I, uh, I'm sure in like, well, not formula or anything, but in, in some, I've seen cars that have a driver on one side and then they don't have uh, they don't have anything on the left hand side. It's quite rare, but you know, for other things, certainly you can clear the symmetry. But here I am just rotating the image to try and get it as close to kind of what is vertical because the image was not taken perfectly horizontal. Um, so yeah, you can just rotate that in the edit image kind of you, you left click on this, uh, the view you're uh, the canvas you're using and then click edit canvas and then you can do whatever you want. But now you can see, looking a lot more like a car, um, which is good. Um, I mean, now we can get into the kind of modeling the cabin. Uh, we can be much more refined now. Um, so there you go, you saw how it mirrored. So anything I do on the left hand side or right hand side, it's always mirrored across. So what I think I do now is I model um, the cabin um, and the way you do this is you have to select um, let's see if I do it on this one if I just ignore that you select the kind of points you want to edit then you'll drag them up to that shape and when when any of the points goes above the image then you just like shift click them to remove them yeah, so here I, I'm, I'm going to select a lot more. Um, there are better ways of doing this, um, but it's not too time consuming. I'm only clicking, I don't know, maybe 20 dots tops, which isn't too bad. Um, and what I forget to do is actually click the dots in the center, um, right on the symmetry line, which is what I should do. I, I fix it after, but um, what you'll see is it's the car is like dipped in the middle. Um, you understand what I mean in a, in a, in a second or two. Um, so raise that up, and if we have a look at that from hopefully the right another angle. Um, oh, I'm just trying to deselect those dots there. Got to rotate it to create that further dot, and you'll see what I mean. Because I didn't collect, uh, select that, uh, the lines in the middle, you see how it's dipped. So what you're going to want to do there is make sure you select all those lines. It's not a difficult thing to fix, so I just carry on without it. But to be honest, uh, when you're modeling, really, this is the best time to just just Control Z, undo, and restart that little bit. Uh, it's not too difficult to fix, but just as a kind of general rule, you you don't want to create more problems that you have to fix for yourself. I mean, because I've modeled a few cars at this point i think like i said uh, on i think my first video that this is the 10th car i modeled so i i know that i can fix this kind of problem this isn't too bad um how it's got that kind of weird ridge in the middle um but you can see it's already starting to look a hell of a lot more like a car now um so yeah trying to just get those pretty 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 much in their final positions i know i'll come back to it later uh, um, but then I can go around the car and add other kind of um, make other modifications but you can see it quite accurately that form has quite accurately followed that image there's that horrible ridge um, that I was talking about uh, but yeah um, it's uh, at, at this point in kind of your model you start to feel a lot better with yourself <laughs> because it's like you can finally notice progress and 
it's not just a weird like surface that's just that's not closed off or anything or looks even remotely like half a car uh, and now it's looking a lot more like the full car so what I've now done is selected those points in the middle and I'm just going to raise them up to line up with what I've done before um, again I'll put I'll come back to moving these points but um, for now it's it's um, it's pretty pretty easy Myself a couple of problems there, <laughs> yeah, not too difficult. Um, but like I was saying, then I think it was the last video, or perhaps the video before, you don't model the cabin until it's at this stage, the kind of where the people are sitting, because it's easy to do it like this. But if you'd have tried to have done it before you do the sy symmetry thing. It looks bizarre, and it, it I, I think it's quite taxing on your brain. Like, I certainly find it taxing on my brain. Um, uh, just a moment. Apologies, my dad was just calling out. Um, but, yeah, so moving those up um, to fit the car. Uh, and, yeah, you can't, you can't really imagine what this will look like without doing this symmetry thing. So there you go, now the car is, the problem of not clicking those points is fixed and you can see it looks a hell of a lot more like a car. Um, I mean that, you, that surface, you can, you can see how kind of the windshield is and where the backs of the car is. It's still like quite far away in terms of the detail on the, on the kind of, on the front corners and on the rear, the rear wing and certainly like the, the slight lip at the back isn't right. I know that, but it does look a lot better um, and so now it kind of comes down to the minor uh, details which is selecting these points uh, moving them up you know I'm trying to get all the points certainly from the side view to line up um, what you'll find as well is with so how I've got that front image so I've got the side kind of uh, canvas image but I've also got a front image unless they're taken by the same camera with the same focal lens and from the same distance as panel, panel of the car they won't they won't perfectly match up you'll have to kind of go somewhere somewhere in between them the best of both worlds really a bit of a compromise um, but yeah uh, I think that's it for this video um, I hope that helps um, see you in the next one